And if he call me right now, I go. Do whatever he need. You hear me? I can call him right now if I'm going through something. You know what he's going to do? Start praying. Little sister, let's have a word of prayer. I'll put him on right now and let y'all hear him. Yeah. He, like he did you like that, didn't he? <laughs> so I'm telling you, he's going to do that. If I called him right now and said, brother, I'm having problems at Trim. You know, or I'm having problems with Fussy or whatever case may be. Little sister, let's have a word of prayer. So that's when you know the relationship right. Say, that's when you know the relationship right. That's when there's honor and there's respect. So I refuse to lose my honor and respect for any voice that is assigned to my life. I won't let no devil in hell stop me from any voice that is assigned to my life I'm going to respect it. If Javon Gould call me right now and needs me, guess what I do? Get on over there. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect the voice. See, I honor the season of time that I spent with him. People are failing because they dishonor. They're dishonoring. Dishonor will cause you some trouble. Dishonor will mess you up, y'all. Dishonor will mess you up. What you ain't going to do is trick their feet. I ain't with it. Let me open this up for some questions or some comments. I won't let you unmute yourself. If you got a question or comment or anything, I'm going to let you unmute yourself. And you can share. Any questions or any comments today? God help me. I don't know who want to say something. Let me see if anybody... I, I ain't going to know if they can... I ain't going to know. Uh, Sharika say if any of you are on the telephone calling in, she'll have to unmute you. Unmute yourself and then she'll go behind you and unmute you. So that way we'll be able to hear you. Are there any questions or any comments? Anybody anybody got anything to share? Did you hear anything? Where you at? What's going on? <coughs> God help me, please. Amen. Let me hear you say, I received that word. Angie, let me hear you say, I received that word. I received, I received that word in the name of Jesus. I Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Go ahead. Kita, it looks like it's on you, but I can't hear you. If you on, yeah, yeah, it was, it was on you. You unmuted, Kita. I mute all the phones. See the phones? I mute all those. They have okay. to be just up to date when they get ready to talk and unmute. Yeah. Yeah. I'm asking you what can't be used. On the inside of me this morning, it was
Anybody else? Jesus. And I thank God that this apartment is coming to me. That the changes that I need to make, like I was telling Ontario, I had a word from God. And the mail before for the word was like a car. And I was telling him, I said, we have a tendency take care of our car inside and out under the hood. But we don't think about that our body is the temple of God and we got to take care of it the same way. I said to him, I said, I need an oil change because I've got to let go of all that stuff that I've been holding in my heart. Yes, that God. stuff that's missing my car. Yes, God. I had to pull new oil, clear yes, oil yes, into my body. Yes, I said, and what I mean by that is I've got to listen to my pastor, other pastors. Yes, I've got to read my word. I've got to pour into my body because I need to take care of the inside of my body as well as the outside. He was so excited. He was over the word. He told me he was so happy. He was jumping through the phone just hug me and kiss me because he needed to hear that. And he said that his elder had sat him down and told him I'm talking to you as an elder and not as your brother-in-law. And there's some things that you could have been doing that you haven't done. So he let him know it was the time for him to get up and move. I told him that's the same thing with me. I said, did my car been parked for too long? I got gas in it. I said, I've got the necessary fluids in it to move. I said, but I chose to sit there, and it's time for me to move. God told me it's time to get it, get up, get in the line, and move. So I just thank God for everything that you just said today and all the time, because I'm no longer going to sit here on the word. I'm putting it into action, and I just want to say I love you. And I respect you as my voice. And thank you. Amen. I love you too. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any other questions? Any comments? Anybody else? I just want to say I enjoyed the word today as usual and those scriptures just come to show that numbers don't mean this if you ain't got God in you the spirit, the Holy Spirit um Hezekiah had the lowest amount of people Yes, ma'am. all the other folks had 20,000, 6,000 and all that but they wasn't understanding. They didn't understand the time. Mm -hmm. At least the, the word didn't say that. Mm -hmm. So the numbers don't matter. You know, yep. a lot of people be like, they got such and such numbers and such and such numbers. Yep. It don't matter about the numbers. That's right. It, it, it only matters about the understanding of the word in the time that God has bestowed upon them. So right. we just got to be wise enough to make the right decision, knowing that God sees and knows all things, and regardless of numbers. He'll make a way out of nowhere. Yes, he will. And I just thank you so much, Pastor, for all you've done and all you're doing to help trim and each one of us grow in Christ to stay on the, the narrow path. Yes, ma'am. I love you, too. 
And I'm so glad, that's why I told y'all to pay attention to the numbers. There was only one that had 22, and they called them, them um, men of valor. But as far as the army, wise as the numbers they had, Issachar had the smallest number. And it made me think about Trim. You know, it's often be, it's, it, it has often been a conversation, you know, about she ain't got that many members and all that. I don't have members anyway. I got partners. My people are partners, which means y'all here make decisions, you know. So you partner with me to make this thing happen. So therefore, and I thought about that. I said, hey, might not be large in numbers, but baby, we got the spirit of Issachar. <laughs> we got the spirit of Issachar. I bet you they be looking to try to figure out which way I'm going to go. Because <laughs> they know she can discern the times. Because I set my face like a flint before God. Lately, I have seen things, but I didn't understand the fullness of it because I'm still growing in this place that God has me in. But most of some stuff that's done happened around here recently and, and all, I've seen that stuff before it took place. I actually saw that Crestview situation. I thought it was, you know, fussy because that's God gave me the image of so I would I was sweating my son out. Son, you in it with you having beef with somebody, what's going on? You know, and I was just not understanding, but what I realized is is because the spirit of intercession is on my life so strong that's what god does is god will use you as an intercessor to pray so i'm navigating through some new places you know hearing conversations and all that kind of stuff like that i'm navigating through um some places but i'm hard after this i'm hard after it but not only for myself but I'm hard after it for y'all. Because I got winners. <laughs> Champions and winners. That's what I got. I don't know about nobody else congregation. But I got champions and winners. And we excel at all that we do. I've been saying that. And I say it every day. We are champions and winners. And we excel at all that we do. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> hey... <laughs> Hey, I understand we got to go through some stuff, and I'm all right with it, believe it or not. I'm all right with going through some stuff, because I understand one thing about it. It works for you good in the end, so that's why I don't mind going through it. Anybody else, any questions, any comments? The man has blown my mind today. Any other questions or any comments? Wow, I literally have been stuck on Reverend Timothy Wright. Two songs that man sang, I've been stuck on them. I'm a believer, and trouble don't last always. I cannot get them out of my spirit. I just can't. I listen to other music, and I'll go right back to them. Because I cannot get them out of my spirit. Because I know for a fact that it is the power of being a believer that is our sustaining power.